Hi, everyone. I'm Lisa Copeland, and I love supporting women on this journey of finding love after 50. Today, I'm going to be answering three important questions that you want to know for dating at this time in your life. Before we get started, though, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd so appreciate if you would. And if you like this video, it lets me know that you would like more videos like this. And of course, feel free to add any comments. I love hearing from you. So let's get started. Three important over 50s dating questions answered for you. Now, chances are you never thought you'd be dating as a woman over 50, right? I mean, gosh, dating was really for young people. At least that's what we did when we were younger. In fact, for most of us, that was the last time we went on a date. Yet here you are today having to use a skill you haven't used in eons. And navigating the dating world isn't always easy. Actually, it can be kind of hard to figure out what really works. And that's why today I want to answer three of the most important dating questions I'm often asked about dating after 50. Let's start with question one. I want a man to be my best friend. Is that possible? Communication with a man isn't the same as it is with your girlfriends. Emotionally healthy men will be your best friend by keeping you safe, protected, and provided for to the best of their ability. He will do his best to fix anything that makes your life easier for you. To a man, it's his actions that speak louder than his words. That shows he is a good man for you. And it shows you that he loves you when he puts into action what he says he's going to do. As women, we love talking because the same hormone that gives you an orgasm is the same one that's released when you talk. It's why women verbally process everything. It feels good to us. Now, men, on the other hand, preserve their words, and they can be really quiet at times. Not talking about life the way you would with your friends doesn't mean he doesn't love you. He does. He just doesn't want to get involved in long conversations about things he has no interest in or can't fix for you. When you share involved and complicated stories about your friends and their families, a man can't keep track of the point you're trying to make. Unless it's about you and taking care of you in some way, you'll watch his eyes glaze over. This is why it's so important to have girlfriends who will happily process anything with you over your favorite martini or glass of wine. Question number two, do I have to have chemistry right away to know if he's the one for me? If you said yes, you aren't alone. Many women use chemistry as the basis for knowing whether or not a man is the right one for them. Now, chemistry is amazing, but it isn't sustainable. Without a friendship first, no matter how much chemistry you have, the relationship cannot stand the test of time. Many of my clients have had connection, but not immediate chemistry with their guy. They thought he was cute, but the zing wasn't there. Yet their guy seemed really nice. So when he asked them out again, they said yes. And they ended up creating an amazing friendship. And over time, the chemistry kicked in for them. If they had used immediate chemistry as the barometer for deciding if a guy was the one for them, they'd have missed their guy and a really great relationship with someone who absolutely loves and adores them. So do yourself a favor. If a man is nice, give him a chance and get to know him. Question number three, I always see a man's potential even when he doesn't. Is it okay to give him some tips and advice to bring out the best in him? This is a solid no. One of men's biggest pet peeves is about women who are always trying to change them, whether it's the clothes they wear, the food they eat, or how they do their job. 
One of the coolest things about emotionally healthy men is they love you exactly how you are. And that's because men fall in love with the real you. But women fall in love with the man's potential. And then they try to fix him up to be his best. Big tip here. If you don't like who a man is, the best thing you can do for you and for him is to let him go and find a man you can love for exactly who he is. Now, I always like to inspire you at the end of these videos, and this is from my client, Lisa. I'm so grateful to have found you, Lisa, and your love after 50 coaching program. I learned so much about men and the way they think and what they're looking for that helped me to find the man of my dreams so much faster. We have been dating exclusively for over six months now and have fallen in love with one another. I'm so grateful to have created a tool you teach called a quality man template. It was a clear vision of the right man for me and the key tool that helped me realize that this man is the one I had been looking for all my life. Thank you, Lisa, for all you've taught me. Hugs and kisses and best wishes to you. Now, if you want to have what Lisa has, and that's a great guy, we've got some resources below for how that can happen for you. In the meantime, go out and use everything that you learn here and know that I always believe in you. Have an awesome week.